bonus minute with another video review. Now today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. A while ago you saw me do the uh, full review of the G1 Encore version of Metroplex. Now in it I talked about how, you know, there, there were some aspects of it that weren't really all that impressive. Namely how it was lacking some stickers. Now as you see we have Scamper and Slammer right here, which are little pieces that go along with Metroplex. Now the folks over at Repro Labels have actually done a sticker set upgrading these figures, which do a whole lot for improving the look of the overall vehicle modes for these and improve the look in the actual full-on city mode of Metroplex. This is just going to be a real quick video kind of highlighting that so that you guys can see what these really actually do. Now as I said these are upgrade sets. Specifically speaking this is upgrade X10 the Slammer Scamper set. As you can see really nice sticker set sheet not shit sticker sheet on really high quality paper these are wonderful stickers now repro labels you can put reproduction stickers on any of your vintage figures replacing some old worn out ones or like i said you can upgrade the stickers and essentially upgrade the figures basically what it's designed to do is enhance your figures themselves you can use them to make you know your older transformer figures look like their cartoon versions or upgrade you know to you know even add things like battle damage to them basically it's just a way to make your figures a little bit more accurate to how they looked in the actual cartoon. So in terms of starting things off, we're going to take a look at Scamper first. And as you can see, very kind of dull. Now these were his arms. Let me just kind of remove these, get these out of the way. Uh, these are his arms. <laughs> we're just going to set those off. But this is the actual view commode. And in a transformer, you just fold this down. This rotates down. And then you plug these little guys. Uh, well, getting, getting his uh, arms in the proper spot. And then you just plug these in and get that out of the way. He doesn't need his gun in there now anyhow. And this is how he basically looks in his robot mode. Um, very kind of weak. Uh, you, you can't really see any details on there. I mean, it's very dark, so it's very hard to see anything. But uh, starting things off first, basically, <laughs> like I said, here he is in his vehicle mode. Now he goes from looking like this to looking like this. Without a doubt, this is a much, much nicer representation of what Scamper really should look like. I mean, the stickers on here just absolutely set this off and make it so much better looking. Now, initially, the only sticker that he actually had was an Autobot logo right here. Reaper Labels actually replaces that because the original one was a whole lot bigger. To give you an example, here's the original sticker that I had to peel off. Um, yeah, as I said, you do have to remove stickers from this, but it makes it look better. I'm trying to get this flat so you can kind of see. I, I mean, you can definitely see a size improvement here. That is a much better scaled sticker than this guy is. One of the ridiculously huge improvement that you should be able to notice right away is the fact that he actually has windows. And look, there I am. Hi, everybody. Look at me. I'm up the bottom. There's my camera. I'm doing a video review. You can see me in the side window, too. Wait, not, well, not really. And then, look, there's, there's, there's a shelf with all my toys. I mean, it's, it, I absolutely love that. There, there I am again. I mean, the actual windows on here just make this thing look absolutely amazing so much better zooming in here you can get a real good look at that and yeah there i am again and oh you might be able to notice that i'm wearing my glasses today uh some side windows there you got some nice tire stickers here which kind of gives some depth to the actual tires and then you've got uh msf1 on a sticker here on the spec spoiler i actually have no idea what that means msf1 i have no clue Let's flip, <laughs> flip around here on the back and you see scamper you got some uh tail lights and some turn signals and things of that nature just absolutely gorgeous now nothing on the arms so let's just take those off set those off to the side and then transform it let me just kind of separate this and you can see there's some actual stickers right inside here that give him some color to his thighs and to the front of his shins fold this back and oh my goodness look he's got eyeballs that's absolutely cool he's got eyeballs so i mean it, just this overall absolutely improves the look of this figure uh, without a shadow of a doubt in my opinion just a wonderful wonderful addition oh and i forgot to mention that he actually has headlights as well so i mean 
Very cool looking figure now. And as for Slammer, it, it's nothing really all that special. But again, there's a lot of missing detail. The only thing that you really have are stickers of the original toys, uh, tank treads, which really isn't all that spectacular when you really think about it. And he goes from looking like this to looking a million times better looking like this. I mean, as you can see, just some really nice detail added onto it. Um, obviously, the original stickers are still there. And then the MSF2, which I, I still don't know what that means. Um, I'm sure someone will probably tell me, but it just adds some nice stickers. You got some uh, lights here on the front. You got an actual dark barrel piece with some chrome bits here in here, which is probably a little bit harder to see because of the white background. Oh my God, it's too white and it's a white figure. Oh. You got some little chrome bits right up here. You add an Autobot logo on there, flip around here on the back. You got some tail lights, but then the really cool aspect of it is when you use it in its actual city form. Again, really nothing spectacular. I mean, that's supposed to kind of look like a tower, although it really doesn't. So what Repro Labels did was take it from looking like this to what looks like an actual city tower. This is just so much better. Now, obviously, you still have the tank treads here on the side, but they add some wonderful sticker details here, giving this little section here windows, and then little stickers here on the tower part, making it actually look like it's a city antenna or something of that nature. I mean, that just is a huge improvement. Now, if you really wanted to, you can leave this on, uh, but it kind of defeats that look. Um, and now it just really kind of looks like a giant tank hanging up there. So I would honestly take this and hide this. I mean, it doesn't stay back there or anything, but I would definitely hide this piece. Just put it off to the side if you're going to have this in city mode, because this just really adds to the look of the city uh, all by itself. And th this just kind of, you know, screws it up, I suppose. Without a doubt, this set is definitely, again, something that I would say collectors would probably like a little bit more than just your casual fans. At $9 for the sticker sheet, it might put some people off, especially since it's just kind of like an upgrade. But without a doubt, it adds some detail to both of these figures that were, it was just desperately, desperately needed. Now, when I do the full-on Metroplex review, I'll show you these guys incorporated into the city and, you know, hanging around and stuff like that. But I'm breaking these up into three different sections. This is going to be part one of the whole Metroplex upgrade extravaganza. The next set is going to be my six-gun review, which is absolutely wonderful as well. That thing just needs help. Culminating in the huge be-all, end-all of Metroplex reviews with the massive sticker upgrade sheet from uh, Repro Labels. All three of the sets I definitely recommend and go a long way for restoring the look and the feel of the cartoon versions in these uh, toy forms. So I definitely recommend picking these up. Again, if you are a hardcore collector. If you're not and you don't really care about it, then you don't care what I say anyhow. So what's the matter? So uh, until next time, guys, I want to thank you for tuning in. This has been Optobotomus. I'll talk to you later. Fuck!